guys, welcome to my sweet home. So today, because we got 100 subscribers, we are doing something new. We are doing a painting. Let me tell you the materials. I'm using acrylic paint. This acrylic paint is Master's Touch. There in tubes. And I'm using an 8 inch by a 10 inch canvas. My brushes some brushes, a pencil, um, um, a thing that you can put your paints on, some water, and a cloth, or you can use a tissue paper. Okay guys, I'm going to tell you what paints we need. We need milky white, we need yellow, orange, red, pink, You also need purple, blue, a uh, dark blue, and a light blue to end up. Okay guys? And also, I forgot, you need black and also shiny silver. Okay guys, let's begin by taking our paints. So first, except um, the black, white, and silver, we need every other color, guys. So, yellow. Yellow. Put the cap back on. Orange. We need to do some shades, guys. So that's why we have a lot of colors. Some purple. So guys, do you see this shade? It looks kind of like a rainbow, but with that rain. So it's a navy blue. And then finally a nice light blue to end off. Okay guys? Let's start off with a half inch brush. Let's dip some water. Don't make it too wet. And take some yellow and rub it on the top. You also have to do it on here. So I'm gonna do that. I think, guys, you should put a very little bit of yellow because if you do too much, then you're not gonna have the space for the other colors. Last bit. Okay guys, I finished the yellow. And if there's a little bit of yellow, we need that, okay? Now let's take the orange and start the next part. We have to blend in the colors. So take the yellow and try to mix it. Okay guys? Let's do the sides. to blend it. Mm. I like the orange and yellow color. If it doesn't blend, you can um, kind of try to mix it. There we go. That looks good, guys. Now let's move on to red. Red is so bright. The red will blend very easily with the orange, guys, so it doesn't matter that much. With the red.
guys land guys If you have a canvas that's very thin and it doesn't have any sides, you don't have to do the um, sides, guys. Now, let's take the purple. And purple will be a very dark color and it would be hard to blend with pink. But you can use more pink to combine the colors. We finish all doing all the colors, guys. We have to let it dry. I think it will dry quickly because it's acrylic paint and it's it's gonna dry quickly. Okay, we're getting to the end, guys. It's time to do the blues. It's one of my favorites too. this and I'm gonna show the painting to you guys okay okay guys I'm done with blending the paints now you have to let it dry okay guys now we are on the last and final part so our painting is dried up and it looks very beautiful also guys if take one of your small blush if there's any white spaces cover it up okay guys and this is just the background. With this background, you can do many things, like I did this quote over here. So it it's on a bigger canvas, guys. And, it, and now this is gonna be different. For this one, I'm gonna do a Ganesha. It's gonna be nice. So I'm using my other three colors: black, silver and milky white okay guys now i'm gonna put the paints down and start okay silver silver oh that looks very shiny and finally permanent black more black okay guys i took all three of the colors now i'm gonna paint so Take a pencil and draw whatever you want. I drew the Ganesha. If you can see. Okay guys, now let's start painting. I'm gonna use gray as the color inside. The silver is shiny. Guys, this will look very good at the end.
Okay guys, I traced the I'm tracing the Ganesha with a black outline. Okay guys, I'm so close to be done. shiny Ganesha painting on a rainbow background guys please like share and subscribe and comment down below if you like this shiny painting bye bye I'm gonna do more of these painting videos so stay and keep up with us bye bye